Welcome to Dr. Jess Runs, and I'm gonna rant about very retarded shit. Mm. Anyway, from one of the cesspools or <clears throat> public toilets of the internet. There are many, many places like that in the internet, but Polygon is probably one of those shittiest ones. Right, let's go. Dungeons and Dragons Next Anthology is written entirely by black and brown authors. Why is it? No, no, I just noticed this now, and uh, I'm slightly be, a bit worried, worried here. Uh, but first and foremost, correct, Dungeons and Dragons is should be capitalized because it's a name, and Next Anthology is written, but black is capitalized, but brown is not. HOW IN THE FUCK DOES THAT WORK?! Are we reaching levels of wokeness that I haven't seen ever before? How in the fuck is black capitalized but brown is not somehow brown is less than black for these people? Good lord, identity politics is a goddamn fucking catch-up game! One moment you think you finally caught up to, to the nonsensical fucking bullshit that these people do and then suddenly rules change again! <laughs> Fuck! When am I going to finally be caught up with this nonsensical bullshit? I thought that brown should be capitalized too now after the identity politics won! I mean, in having changing the, the grammar and the orthography or whatever! Fuck me. Getting tired. I thought white would now also be capitalized, but no! It's only black! Brown, no! Yellow, uh uh! White, no! Pink, much less than that! Red, whoo! Don't even think about it! Only black! Only black should be capitalized! Because otherwise, everything else is racism! Fuck these people! <sighs> Fine! I read this nonsense because I feel like my brain is going to die. Right. Uh, one, two, three, go! The next book published by. No, I forgot this. Journeys through, through the Radiant Citadel includes 13 new adventures. No, I forgot. I. After ranting about the capitalization of the word, I forgot. Well. So, black and brown outers, that means the, these, their stories are going to be epic, incredible, untouchably amazing, right? Because after all, race is the one that guarantees that something is good, isn't it? Is it? Right? I mean, it's identity politics, identity politics cannot be wrong. The Nazis told us to. Oh, sorry, sorry. The Democrats. No, wait. The control of no Antifa. No, neo Nazis. I get confused with these identitarians. I always get confused with them. It's like <sighs> it's the same goddamn fucking shitty shit, but different bag. It's like you're buying a bag full of manure. And you have the choice of two brands. Under the manure, you buy the pretty much shit everywhere. But there's one bag that says Nazismus, the best manure ever. And the other says Antifus, the bestest of the bestest manure. What? Which one would you buy? <sighs> God. Fuck the fuck fuck! The next book published by Dungeons and Dragons will be an anthology of 13 adventure span exclusive. Again! I I was kind of hoping that it was just a typo, but <laughs> no. No 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 no! Apparently brown are less than black according to these people! How in the fuck this makes sense? It does not! It should be either lower caps! Oh, capitalize all of them. Uh, 
I cannot stand these racists. Anyway. Let's go. Title Journeys Through the Radiant Citadel. In what a mysterious new floating city to the original role-playing game. Oh, God, that's so original. The book will be available on June, on June 21st. I'm not interested. Doing a presentation for the press design colleague, Egypt. Egypt? George said that the project grew out of his experience working as a freelancer designer for D&D publisher Wizards of the Shitty Coast in 2020. Egypt was part of the diverse collection of writers diverse oh, the love of God. It's like diversity actually mattered. No, it's quality, not diversity, you troglodyte. <sighs> then risk and guide to the Raven Ravenloft, not critically a came source book published in 2021, and our review the best yet don't give a shit in the project. Egypt became the first person of ah so this one is the type of the 2711 type of indian not the this is my land you get the fuck out nationalist type of indian right he sent right the 711 inspired material for wizard's tabletop room playing game he says he left the, that experience once and more quote uh, I could check the idea of the whole book written by a black with a capitalized black. And bro, now we less than black people. Read this by about their own cultures, myths and stories. I picked the idea of the book filled with lands and cultures inspired by their own lives and background and history. Eh? Who wants them curry? Right. Ah. <sighs> Like the adventure anthology, Kendo Keep Mysteries, which focuses around a library of Faron circus. Shit on a pickle, I'm not interested. The city is carved from a massive fossil of mysterious origins, an ancient, like extinct creature that no one has yet been able to identify. Like, I give a shit. Egypt uh, said it was inspired by his knowledge of Indian rock cut, arch arch rock -cut architecture. Look, this thing is not uh, unique to Indian. They Nationalist Indian also has that rock cut, rock, rock cut architecture too. In fact, the Middle East also has that. There is, I think it's a man or something somewhere in Jordan, somewhere that has appeared even on Indiana Jones. You can see that there. <sighs> There's one inside. Somewhere in the desert in America, too, so it's not unique. But anyway, and it's got a colossal gemstone shot. Uh, don't care, don't care, but I don't care. So, ah, they just says this. And they that don't step we would allow DM freedom to place the Concord jewel wherever makes sense, either in their homebrew campaign or in an established DD world. You see, I prefer my DD world with lots of curry. You could link your location to the Radiant Citadel and to the adventure in his book uh, just between different worlds and by using Radiant Citadel as a one point. God, I, I, it's not making sense. This article, I'm not even caring. The Radiant Citadel is not a place well, a backstabbing and lurking monsters and crime just around the corner. Yeah, it's the perfect society because it's done and ruled by people of black, which is better than brown people. Yeah. And so white people are all evil. All evil. And so, and so this, this place, this city is perfect. Do you understand? The Radiant Citadel was meant to give players a real hope, a respite, a place to regroup and rebuild after facing the worst and the most tragic challenges. Wouldn't you just do that inside an inn? <laughs> Where they could launch an incredible story and adventures across the multiverse! <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean that there isn't enough lore in the book to create more traditional urban adventures that take place inside the citadel, however, that's not where the narrative momentum of the anthology is focused. I don't give a shit! Who says this? Oh. This one is an SGW, so... Yeah. Mm. 
This also sets up in, a, in such a way that we're not trying to show that you can just stick these adventures the other side of the world or a place nobody ever heard of. <laughs> this guy, this is more how and you make this location feel like vibrant parts of the existing world. But some opportunities within the place of forgotten realms are ever blah, 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 blah. If you want to take those adventures and expand into something more, your opportunities are completely there. Okay, Egypt. Okay, so ah, the Egypt continues. Uh, what's going to be the most exciting is that players are just going to be able to seek their teeth into these new lands. Uh, my character could be from there, or my lover could be from there, or my sister, or my parents could be from there. I didn't know where I came from before, but now I know where my character heritage is, and that's kind of exciting. So, so. Do you interested in buttons in this field? Or are you interested in a soda? Mm, do you want some curry with that? Hmm? Ah, for fuck's sake! And this also comes from a game that now has wheelchair accessible dungeons! After all, the evil lich, the evil monster, or the evil doer that you are going to invade in his poor, poor. Legally stolen dungeon you go there and then you can actually go and cancel the guy because he failed to actually go and make uh, Wheelchair accessible ramps for your black dwarf fixin woman ixin of color ixin Dungeons and dragons We should have known we should have kept these fucking morons out of our goddamn fucking hobby Now, now, we have to contend ourselves in staying behind the curve of the identity politics in which somehow brown is somewhat less than black. Oh, for the love of God. I cannot stand this goddamn fucking clown world anymore. Now, and then we have the... Uh, the, the, the wheelchair because the dungeon master cannot even target a wheelchair properly because it's a super item god item that uh, uh, that a character uses in a world that somehow you can get you can re uh, revive a character or you, you can use magic to heal oneself but somehow somewhere somewhat you cannot heal your spine and your backbone to actually stand and walk you have to use a wheelchair. God damn it, I am so goddamn fucking tired. This is why nobody actually likes Dungeons and Dragons and why it's a goddamn fucking garbage. Fuck. Ah. And that goddamn miserably fucking hell. Have a great fucking night. And remember, blacks are superior than everybody else in here. Allegedly.